Kenyatta National Hospital workers allied to the Kenya Union of Domestic Hotels, Betting Educational Institutions and Hospital Workers have threatened to go on a strike from the 7th of June, citing delays in payment of the May salary. Meanwhile, the government is keen on implementing the recently gazetted digital hailing service regulations. Details of this and other stories in the news brief. Kenyatta National Hospital workers allied to the Kenya Union of Domestic Hotels, Betting, Educational Institutions and Hospital Workers Secretary General Albert Njeru issued the Ministry of Health with a one-week ultimatum to disperse payments, failure to which the workers will paralyze activities at the hospital. Kudengia is also calling for a summary review for the Kenyatta National Hospital staff due to the high levels of inflation. Being an essential service provider, we believe that it is essential also for the workers in the Kenyatta National Hospital and across all the hospital sectors to be paying their salary on or before 28th of each particular month. And the last day salaries are paid on the 6th. Meanwhile, the government is keen on implementing the recently gazetted digital hailing service regulations. Transport Cabinet Secretary Kipchumba Murkomen says under the new regulations, drivers and owners of motor vehicles registered with the transport network companies will not pay commissions exceeding 18% of the total earning per trip. We are also working closely with the government to see the drivers who are not compliant for some reason, whether how we could shepherd them into becoming compliant. Elsewhere, all government agencies, law enforcement bodies, financial institutions and international partners have been called upon to partner with the Asset Recovery Agency in the fight against economic crimes and money laundering. This is a good uh, beginning and I think uh, having uh, been operationalized uh, in 2015, I think uh, it was, it's only fair that uh, in 2021 you found it fit. Make an assessment of what it is that you, where it is that you had come from, the short journey of six years, and where indeed you intended to go. Speaking during the launch of the Asset Recovery Agency Strategic Plan 2022 to 2027, the Attorney General Justin Muturi emphasized the importance of putting more efforts towards establishing a formidable force that leaves no stone unturned in pursuing ill-gotten assets and bringing the perpetrators to justice. And the 2023 financial bill has its pros and cons, according to Dr. Benjamin Musau, an international taxation expert. He says the bill needs to be passed with amendments as it will help the government in funds mobilization. However, Dr. Musau says there is need for public sensitization and participation. The Union of Teachers, both the primary and secondary school, and the civil servants union, and all the, the other stakeholders, including the Kenya Association of Manufacturers and Koto, for example. And finally, Lake Kanyaboli in Sierra County has lost approximately 80% of its water volume after it broke some dikes which have adversely affected the ecosystem. Subsequently, county officials have called upon the United Nations Environmental Program to support the rehabilitation of the Africa's second largest Oxbow Lake. And we're appealing out to partners and uh, the national government that there is a uh, need to be a major mobilization of resources uh, and therefore uh, we come here not only to inspect but make an assessment. Victor Ochin for Primetime News.